and welcome to Coloritaville. This is Donna, and I'm coming to you live from the Cozy Coloring Corner. All right, so I have a Molly Harrison coloring book haul, and I got these basically for myself for my birthday, and um, I've received them, and I just wanted to kind of share them with you guys because I thought that maybe some of you might be interested in some of these also. These are actually her big books which are 100 illustrations so it's generally maybe you know maybe four different books inside one um where her um images are normally like 25 per book you're getting images from four books in one book so that's really neat right off the bat for me so let's take a look at these and um let's see i have the big book of fairies i have the whimsical world big book and I have the big fantasy coloring book in grayscale. And I actually received this one first. I've already colored like two images in there. Um, one of them actually on camera in the live stream, I believe, Saturday. So, um, yeah. So, but, you know, I still wanted to do this and show you guys this just came in today. All right. So um, let's just kind of take a look. And I'll try to move through these relatively quickly because it is 100 per book. So yeah, I understand that could take some time. So we're just going to try to flip through them as quickly as possible. I'm not really going to spend a lot of time, um, you know, saying anything about the images or anything like that. Her paper does seem toothy. Yes, it does seem toothy. These are Amazon printed images. I do feel maybe the paper's a little thicker than some of the Amazon books, but I do feel the tooth. Um, I can say from coloring in the grayscale that the tooth caused me no issues with my markers. So that's a good thing, but this would probably be really, really good for colored pencils, especially because you'll have that tooth there. This is a line art book. Um, it has different fairy, it's images from different fairy books of Molly Harrison's. And the first book, the grayscale book um, that I colored in on the live stream, that was the first Molly Harrison book that I had ever purchased, but I had these other two books already, you know, on their way. So, you know, I'm just really excited because I cannot believe that Molly Harrison got past me. For all this time. I mean, I've been seriously coloring since, well, I started coloring in December of 2015 and um, 2016 and 17, you know, I would color here and there. By 2018, coloring was like a daily type of therapy for me. So, yeah. I don't know how I missed it all this time. Um, I do. I love the art. I like what I'm seeing. Um, I enjoyed the page I colored um, live stream. And I mean, this is just a huge amount of images. This is definitely your best bang for the buck because I believe her books are around maybe $10 each, you know, $8.99, $9.99. And that's each for the 25 page books. And I believe I paid like $15.99 for these. So that's a really, really good bang for your buck on these books for sure. Um, I definitely think these books are worth the price. Her art is gorgeous. You can use multiple mediums. They're single-sided images, which is wonderful for our alcohol markers. Um, for those of you who love them as much as I do. Um, also, like I said, I feel that tooth there. I think it would work really good with um pencils as well of course you could use water-based medium i believe in this book also and that would be okay of course be careful because you know you're going to have page buckling but if you kind of use a prep and prep the page you should be able to easily use watercolor no problem so that would be my advice for anyone using water-based would be to prep your page first and if any of you guys are listening and you're curious what that means to prep your page, let me know because I figured out how to do it. And I would be more than happy to do a video on that. Okay, so that is the big book of fairies. 
And then next up, we're going to look at Whimsical World Coloring Book. This is um, also a line art book. And then we'll take a look at her grayscale last. So in her Whimsical, Whimsical World, correct? Yes, Whimsical World. They are much more childlike type designs. Um, not that they're necessarily for children, but they would be great for children. You know, I know a lot of adult art or yeah, adult colorists who color in these books. But um, they are just not as, not sure what the word I'm looking for. I don't say realistic because her art's not realistic um, in that sense. It's very fantasy. But it's not, okay, this is, I guess you could say more cartoony maybe. So it's, it's a totally different taste. And I think that she does a wonderful job to be able to um, draw so beautifully across both of those kind of genres, I guess. Um, yeah, I do. I think I think it's great. And these are very cute. I'm going to have a lot of fun with these. Um, all the witch is precious. Yeah. I'm not sure what I want to color first. It's just, it's wonderful. And, you know, I can still feel, yeah, I do still feel the tooth. If there for a moment, I thought that this wasn't, I wasn't feeling the same amount of tooth in this book, but yes, I think it is. This has all kinds of things, fairies, mermaids, witches, and that, that kind of be, seems to be kind of where she's at um, in the things that I've seen is mermaids, fairies, and witches, which I love all three. So it's perfect. It's perfect, perfect, perfect for me. And like I said, with 100 images, I am just trying to do really quick flip throughs or we'll be here for quite a while. But hopefully this will help anyone that may be kind of like on the fence or hasn't heard of these books before. Um, or, you know, maybe you've heard of the artist and you've heard of the book, but you've just never really taken a good look at them. So I thought it would be good to show you guys. For those of you who love backgrounds, boy, there's some in here that you could have a field day with. This might be a good book to actually practice. My background's some too. It's a good idea. Okay, there we go. And again, that was Whimsical World Big Book Coloring Book 100 Illustrations to Color. And then last but most definitely not least, this is the big fantasy coloring book. And it's like I said, I have already colored, I believe, two images in here. So we'll take a look and you'll get to see what images I colored. So you get a little bit of a bonus. You're going to get to see some of my finished coloring pages before my finished coloring pages video at the end of the month. How's that? Again, there's a good tooth, same type of paper. I know some people feel that it's a little dark, but I mean, I do like it. I actually did this one last night. So I did this one. And I believe this one again is mermaids, fairies, and witches. So mermaids are first in this book. It'll have the mermaid images that you're getting. And then it goes into fairies and then on to witches at the end. So, you know, if you're looking for something kind of Halloween-y to color, this might be a good book because it does have a section dedicated to witches. I think they're very nice images, just very fantastical. And we're into the fairies.
Very nice. And then we're going to start into the witches. I think this one's gorgeous. This is the one I did on live stream. I left the live stream up. If anyone's interested in going back to see that, we had, it was myself, Renee, Deb, and Janice came in with us for a while. Or was it Darcy? No, I think it was Darcy. Yeah, Janice did not. It was Darcy. Sorry, Darcy. Cute, cute. Okay, so there's, as you see, there's a lot of different witch pictures that you could get that you could choose to color in here. So I think it would work out really nice for Halloween also. Um, I think these kind of give you, they're kind of like witch fairies. I'm not sure if there's a word for that, but they're witchy, but they're also kind of fairies. And that is all of that. So again, we had the Big Fantasy Coloring Book in Grayscale, Big Book of Fairies Coloring Book, 100 Illustrations to Color, and Whimsical World Big Book, 100 Im Images to Color here. And I'll leave links down in the description of the video so you can find these if you're interested in them. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think of Molly Harrison's work. And if there's any other of her um, artwork that I should maybe take a look at that you think I may enjoy. Also in the description, there is links to the Cozy Coloring Corner over on Facebook. That is our Facebook group for um, Coloryville for our members um, to just enjoy each other and share our art. I hope that you will join us over there also. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching the video. Please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here and get the opportunity to get to know you and welcome you into the corner. And um, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate your continued support. Until next time, guys, peace, love, and happy coloring. Bye, guys.